So that leads us nicely onto what can a robot do that a human perhaps can't do operating in first person? So in minimal access surgery, um, the instruments are straight and they long. And it's difficult to always describe this on air rather than on, on television. But when I move my hand left in a minimal access surgery, the instrument moves to the right. It's also a two-dimensional um, image that I'm watching. And things like depth perception and reach are quite difficult. And in fact, when you get to more complex tasks like tying a knot with suture material, it becomes extremely technically difficult. What the robot does is it's got an articulated wrist. Um, that, together with the movement of the arm, gives us seven degrees of freedom. And the robot also, if you move your hands to the left, the software has been programmed so that the instrument moves to the left as well. And it's three-dimensional, magnified imaging, so all the depth perception problems disappear. So we can uh, take a person um, and get them to a level of proficiency far quicker than with a manual keyhole surgery technique. The other big thing, of course, is that with keyhole, um, surgeons stand in quite difficult positions and causing a lot of discomfort and pain and in fact injuries as well and the robotic system because they're sitting at a console neutrally and we have clutching mechanisms to to move the tips of the instrument uh, means that we reduce the pain and discomfort of the surgeons hopefully extending their their life their operating lives.